At this moment, Astrom and its partners are constructing the world's largest low-frequency radio telescope. The antennae are organized in stations consisting of cheap, simple antenna elements. Their signals are combined digitally at the stations. The stations are distributed over a large area. The telescope is not limited to the Netherlands, but extends well into Europe, with a total diameter of more than 1500 kilometers. The stations are connected to a central processing facility in the city of Groningen by a high-speed computer network. The central area of the telescope is called the core. It contains half of the Dutch collecting area and is located near the northern Dutch towns of Exlo, Buinen and Buinerveen. Work has started to convert the core area to a large swamp which will become a nature reserve as soon as LOFAR is operational. Because water and electronics do not mix well, the stations in the core are built on small islands. The largest is more than 400 meters across and contains six stations. There are two antenna types. The low-band antenna consists of a pole and conducting wires. It is meant to observe radio waves with wavelengths between 30 meters and 3 meters. The high-band tiles consist of metal blade antennae arranged on a 4x4 grid inside a stereoform structure. Dutch stations contain 48 high-band tiles and international stations 96, which is the equivalent of a 70-meter parabolic dish antenna. The electronics and software are all developed and tested in-house at Astron's advanced laboratories. The antenna signals are combined in electronics cabinets at each station, from which they are sent to the supercomputer center in Groningen over many 10 gigabit per second fiber network links. The supercomputer center harbors a powerful IBM BlueGene P supercomputer with a peak performance of 35 teraflops. This supercomputer combines all station signals and prepares the data for imaging. Although LOFAR is not yet operational, astronomers around the world are already planning many different kinds of research. LOFAR is the largest radio telescope to observe at such long wavelengths, hence one of the first objectives is to simply find out what is out there. LOFAR also attempts to answer some great questions, for example, when did the lights in the universe switch on, or where do high-energy cosmic ray particles come from? LOFAR can image a large part of the sky at frame rates from 1 frame per second to, in extreme cases, 200 million frames per second. This makes the telescope perfect for observing pulsars and other variable radio sources. The most recent additions to these plans are observing cosmic magnetic fields, for example in other galaxies, and the study of the Sun at low radio frequencies.